before it just keeps going up and down loads again. We always have this issue, don't we? But anyway, yes, I have got another haul for you guys. I don't really know what's up with me. I can't stop spending money. I say this every single time. But I'm feeling super, super frivolous. I think it's just because, like I said before, it's a change in the seasons and you're getting all this amazing new clothes in and it's like, oh my God, I want to buy this, I want to buy that. And oh, they've got this is new. And you kind of sometimes don't really know how to dress in this time of year. So you kind of just end up buying loads to accommodate for the fact that you're not necessarily sure what to wear. I mean, that's what I've done anyway. So I will show you everything that I've got. Um, you will have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen a couple of these pieces featured so far. But everything is new as of coming back from my holiday last week. But anyway, I don't really, I'll start with what I'm wearing now and then I don't really know, there's no order to what I'm doing this in. There's literally the biggest pile of clothes next to me. It's insane. But anyway, I will start with what I'm wearing now. And this is a like layered, two layered dress from Topshop. That was like the most unsexiest way of describing this dress. But it's a navy jumper with a camisole slip dress layered on top. I'm so glad that layering is such a big trend because it means that you can take the ones that you've already got into autumn winter by just layering a jumper underneath or a t-shirt. This one actually comes pre-layered, which is nice. And I'm kind of thinking, I don't know, I think you can actually detach the bits and pieces so you could wear it separately, which is obviously super, super cool. So yeah, I really, really like it. Also, I really like, I'm loving navy at the minute. So anyway, I'm actually, I'm gonna start with jumpers because it is jumper season and oh my God, the knitwear gets stronger and stronger every single year. So, I'm going to start with my new favourite jumper. Now this is from And Other Stories and I got this in a size medium I think because it seemed a little bit small on the model and I wanted, I like my jumpers to be really oversized. So it's got a really cool fit, like if you notice the shoulders are kind of dropped but also almost, so they kind of fit in an almost balloony way which is perfect for the sort of 80s larger sleeve silhouette that we have going on this season and it's also just really nice and soft and it's just it's actually i tell you one of, one of the things which i really really love about this is it's very i thought it was really quite similar to the bella freud jumpers but obviously the bella freud jumpers around like 250 300 to 350 pounds depending on the style you go for and that's expensive like obviously they're an investment piece but when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, it's like Bella Freud on a budget. Jumper number two, which I have already featured on my Instagram. So this is a bright orange sweat, jump, bright orange jumper from And Other Stories. And I know this is one of these orange colours, which is so like fiery and vivid. It kind of looks red on the screen, but it is in fact orange, unless I'm colour blind. I don't think I am. But I, oh my god, it's so, so, so nice, but it's definitely way more orange tone in real life. Which is annoying, because I kind of wish it looked more orangey on screen. Because everyone's on Instagram, it's like, I love your red jumper, and I'm like, no, it's orange. Maybe I am colourblind. But anyway, this is amazing, and it comes in a couple of different colours. The pink is really beautiful as well. I'm tempted to go back and buy that, because this is so, also so soft. Now, I love And Other Stories Knitwear. My Varsity jumper, which I've worn before, is from there, and they've actually got it back in a slightly different colour, so that's worth checking out. But then Knitwear is really great. It is a little bit pricier than, say, Topshop, but so worth it in terms of style and design and quality. I've got so many jumpers. I feel like jump, jumpers and jeans are my go-to in winter. So I figured like if you're gonna do jumpers and jeans all season, you've gotta get some like sexy sweaters on the go. So this one is also from And Other Stories. And I love the color blocking on this. This is just perfect with a pair of black skinny jeans or just like <laughs> any jeans because it just kind of transforms an outfit. Okay, let's go on to my Topshop jumpers now. I, I was so tempted to call this like a Topshop haul because I've got so many Topshop pieces coming up. So this is from Topshop and this is Topshop Boutique. And it is a, this is actually size extra small. I nearly didn't buy this because I was like, I quite, I mean, I'm not usually, I wouldn't usually buy an extra small. And also, also if something's meant to be oversized, I like it to be oversized. 
but actually I'm so glad that it was out of stock in all of the sizes but an extra small and they bought this because it actually fits perfectly. So this is Topshop and it's really super fluffy and cosy and also once again really soft and not it's not scratchy. I find that some knits can be really scratchy and like irritate my skin but this one doesn't. Looks incredible with like a bright red coat or bright red lip like once again it's a really great one for contrast this jumper is way more of a transitional one as it's a far more lightweight and it sits really wide so you can kind of like slouch off the shoulder which is nice actually quite a cute one just for like lounging not like lounging around the house but just when you're having like a more of a casual day and it has this amazing detail at the back where it's twisted and it comes in i think black and another color as well so i'll link to all of them so this is another one of my favorite i said that this is my favorite this is my favorite this is probably borderline favorite alongside the orange and other stories one but for totally different reasons it's huge oh my god it's not so bright so this is like a cable knit jumper from Topshop more oversized balloon sleeves which are great and it's so soft now I got this in a size 10 and I definitely think I could have actually probably got away with an 8 because it is oversized and I'm just like oversized it's fine but actually I definitely could have got away with an 8 so bear that in mind if you're gonna buy it and it's just so snugly this is your perfect like I it's cold out I want to look chic but I don't really like know what to wear throw this on with a pair of like rock and roll skinny jeans in like a mid wash blue which is basically the description of the skinny jeans I'm wearing this with uh well yeah you know you've got such an easy effortless look okay now weekday I know oh god the sleeves tucked in I know I featured weekday and an amazing pink jumper in my last haul so here is another one and it's one of those it's one of those kind of tops which is Business at the front, party at the back. It's a very, very simple design, but it's got a cut at the back, so it sort of shows off your back, and if you're wearing some really killer jeans, it'll show off your bum, it shows off your bum quite nicely too. So yeah, and I got this in, I think a size, a small, once again, it's like super oversized, so I don't think you really need to worry about sizing up in this. Okay, shall we do jackets now? I've gone to town on coats and jackets, and once again, I have problems. I'll start with um, I'll start with this blazer. So this blazer is actually I saw it come online and I was like, hmm. I was like I like it, but I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I was like I'll order it because it's a bit different. Oh my god, it's so freaking cool. It just totally livens up jeans and a tee and I actually wore it. It's quite it's oh my god. So also this one's really really oversized. So this is a size six and it fits me like this, so definitely size down. Uh, if I mean, if you wanted it to be a much closer fit, size two sizes down, but I like the fact that I can fit a jumper underneath this and it looks, you know, fine. Okay, this is like the sassiest, sassiest, sassiest coat ever. And I bought it and I was like, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it, I'm just gonna try it and I've completely fallen in love with it. So, ta-da, this is from Topshop as well. And it's, Oh my god, it's so cool. It's a vinyl mac and I also it's nicely lined so I find that vinyl things can make me a little bit like sweaty but because it's lined it doesn't and it's got this incredible pink collar which is in fact detachable so you can take it off and you know wear it without if you're not feeling super super sassy but oh my god it's so so cool. It just it really really stands out. I'm honestly obsessed with it and I think if you team this alongside like a cute like jumper and skirt combo it's gonna look really sweet and also I really love the silhouette it's sort of riffing on this like 60s swinging 60s London vibe which I totally love if you've followed me for a while you know that I will have a little bit of a thing for retro inspired pieces jackets so many jackets oh so everyone went crazy for this on Instagram when I posted a picture wearing it this week. This is a Topshop editor's check crombie coat or something like that. And I think it's out of stock online now, but there's some very, very, very similar ones that I've linked to you. And I actually, I picked this, this, this sold out on like in, online quite quickly and I found it in store in the Knightsbridge store. And I think they have it in Oxford Circus too. So if you're in London, go there and get it. But it's amazing. This is a size eight as well, and I found that it fits really nicely. There's definitely room for a jumper under there. But it's also like right now, and it's not too cold. You can put like really a really like light knit underneath it, and or a t-shirt and jeans, and you're still totally fine. But yeah, I'll link to some alternative ones that I found that are similar to that 
in case you can't get hold of it. <laughs> There's no point holding this up, it's huge. <laughs> so this is, you know I love a super oversized coat and this is from weekday, you know what? I'm not gonna bother holding it up, I'll just show you the clip of me trying it on. This I've also featured already on my Instagram with a picture my dad so kindly took for me. It was a good picture, he did a good job. Insta dad at his finest. But anyway, yes, it's an amazing winter coat because you can layer so, so much underneath it and it looks so, so good and so cozy. And yeah, you're not gonna worry about it being too tight and you're gonna have like that thing where you feel like huh, and puffed up. Okay, another weekday jacket. This is just a navy, sort of like kind of sporty-ish Bombery style, it's not got any elastic here, but it's got the elastic here. But yeah, this is just really nice and casual. I actually find myself wearing this one as my throw on with a sweater to go to the gym in. So it's because it's kind of a sporty vibe, but also like super luxe. So it's just nice, it's just quite cute, and it's a really easy chuck on piece. Not really much to say about it, but I love it. So you'll know that I got this jacket if you follow me on Insta. I was at Vista Village and I treated myself to a Stella McCartney. Fur, like faux fur, because Stella only does faux, leopard print coat. And I mean, the thing was, leopard print coats are like absolutely timeless. So I think, I'm not sure if I'll be able to find the link for this exact one, but I mean, Stella's like still, even at Vista Village where it's discounted, it's still very pricey. So I will link to my favorite leopard print coats on the high street below. Hey, jacket's done. Still feel like I'm missing something out here. But anyway, I'll go on to top. So this is top shop. And this is just a kind of cute little top, just a throw on thing. The fabric is super, super soft. And it says Neon Blitz USA 82 on the back. And then on the front it says 1988. I don't really know what this means, but I like it anyway. So that's just a really, really cool. It's quite rock and roll. It looks actually really nice with a leopard print coat and a pair of skinny jeans. So it's very kind of Kate Moss vibes. Okay, let's go on to jeans. So, I've been like really stuck about what kind of jeans I really love and I thought I'm probably gonna be wearing jeans all the time in winter so it doesn't matter if I wear, have several pairs. These are the Orson jeans from Topshop and the Orson jeans are, they're not skinny, although <laughs> they look quite skinny on me, that's just my kind of legs. And they're not, but they're not, also straight, they're actually just a slim fit, which is really nice to kind of get the in-between. But yeah, they come in a couple of different colours. They haven't got too many, like too many different styles of these, but they are really, really nice. Okay, so these jeans, I am having to turn them inside out because I wore them yesterday. I featured them in my Instagram story and everyone was like, oh my god, wait, which jeans are these? They're amazing. And I haven't worn a pair of skinny jeans or bought a pair of skinny jeans in 18 months to a couple years. But I went back to the dark side and got these Jamie jeans from Topshop. Now I accidentally ordered these in the wrong size. I meant to get a waist 26 and I accidentally ordered a waist 25, but they have actually, thank God, got quite a bit of stretch in them. So these actually fit me totally fine. And it's quite nice to have a pair of skinny, I spilled food down there. Like I wear what things for one day and I spill food down them. This is me and this is my life. But yeah, these are really, really cool and really comfy. So I feel like I'm coming to the end of what I've got here. Now this is a check skirt. It's a tartan check skirt from Topshop, which is like so, so 90s, I feel. And I've been wearing this with the oversized, really like cute oversized black jumper from Topshop too because it's really snuggly and nice. But this is very school vibes, very scholarly and collegey, but I love it. I think it's really cool, I think it's really nice. And chuck it on, oversized jumper, nice oversized gray coat, and it looks really cool. So, big fan of that. Accessories time. So, I know I featured a pair of Peyton ankle boots in my last haul from ASOS, which are amazing. I've worn them non-stop, so I decided that I would get a pair similar from Topshop. These ones are not Peyton, and these are the magic ankle boots, and I've linked them below. Although I do find <laughs> either my feet are shrinking, or all the clothes, all the shoe sizes are getting bigger, because these are a little bit big for me, and they're a size three. I do find that I'm between a two and a three in Topshop shoes, and I definitely feel like if you're between sizes, maybe size down in these. These are my new Nike trainers. I've said Nike this time. I committed to saying Nike and not Nike, 
But these are the Air Max, mm, the Air Max on suede, and they are so soft. Ooh, I just touched them and I'm like, they're lovely. So yeah, these are really, really these are really, really nice. I don't really wear trainers that often, but I've started wearing them more and more for like autumn because they're just so freaking comfy and they're really really cool so i did a video about how i'm styling trainers for autumn winter if you want to check that out as well and finally i've got the cutest little handbag ever it was like 25 or 28 pounds from Topshop. hello little handbag oh it's so cute it's just studded and absolutely adorable this is so new i haven't even like taken anything out yet so this has a strap with it as well and it like, attaches here and here. So it isn't just like a little handle bag, but I think it looks really cute when held in your hand. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I've linked all the products below as usual. Let me know your favorite pieces. I always like to know what everyone really, really likes. And if you have any styling recommendations of what you think will look cute, because I love hearing how you guys will style everything. But I'm also, I totally keep getting mentioned, everyone needs to check out, I started a new podcast with my friend Millie Cotton from It's London thing, and we're on to like episode six now, so it's not really that new. It's a fortnightly podcast, and we kind of talk about all pop culture things. We spoke about Kylie Jenner and her makeup. We've spoke about like bloggers and influencers. We've spoke about doing the walk of shame and one night stands. So we kind of talk about all like relatable kind of things and it's a really good one to download and listen to on your commute to work and they're not too long, they're about like 20 minutes. So I will link you to that below as well. So make sure you check that out and subscribe to the podcast as well. And subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll be back with another video next week. Have an amazing week and in the meantime, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Sophie Milner underscore FS. See you later.